You said these dogs actually seemed like they were afraid of Mark. Yes. When Mark will approach, they'll tuck tail and hide. Complaints against an Apex nonprofit continue to pile up tonight. The AG's office says there are now 50 complaints against Rycon service dogs. CBS 17 has learned from families from across the country claiming that Rycon sold them aggressive and untrained dogs. And tonight we're hearing from some former Rycon employees. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy once again digging deeper into the company. And Kelly, what did these employees tell you? Well, some disturbing allegations against Rycon and the company's owner, Mark Mathis. I spoke with former dog trainers who tell me Mathis was abusive to the dogs and they were afraid of him. <laughs> Brian Berry took this video on his first and last day working as a trainer for Rycon service dogs. The thing that shocked me the most was like the kennel aggression. In the mornings we would come in and I guess the, the protocol was to walk, you know, each dog individually out to the dog run. And when you're doing that, there's dogs in the kennels trying to get at the dogs that you're walking and, and just stuff that, that surface dogs aren't supposed to do. Barry has worked as a professional dog trainer for years and knew immediately that something wasn't right at Rycon. The dog can't do simple things like sit, stay, walk in the hill. How could you possibly expect it to you know, do medical alerts or prevent a child from fleeing. Kenyetta Redmond also worked at Rycon. She says Mathis first hired her to clean the dog kennels in August of 2018. Within a couple of months, she says Mathis promoted her to dog trainer. Do you feel like you were qualified to train service dogs at that point? No. I was I didn't have no clue what I was doing. Redmond says she witnessed a lot of disturbing things, but the worst part, Mathis's training techniques. His method to gain a dog's attention was to flip the dog, which means flip the dog on the back, on his back. He'll put his knee on their head or on their throat and he'll stretch their legs up to behind the head and they will be crying. Would you say he was abusive to these dogs? Yes, I will say that. Um he will drag them, drag them on the concrete till their paw pads broke, drag them on rocks, pull, yank them, literally yank them off the floor. It was, it was very disturbing, but at the time we didn't say anything because that was our boss. He was paying our bills. Do you think Mark Mathis was sending these dogs home with families knowing that they were not trained to the standard that a service dog should be? Yes, he knew. We told him he didn't want to hear it. He said he wanted to send dogs out as soon as possible so he could get new pups. Once again, I went to Mathis's home to give him a chance to share his side of the story. No answer at his door. No answer on the phone. This is Kelly Kennedy with CBS 17 trying to reach you again. Both Barry and Redmond hope that Mathis will never be allowed to train dogs again. And Redmond says she doesn't even think Mathis should be allowed to have a dog as a pet. Now, the attorney general's investigation is ongoing. Back to you.